back after a short break to accommodate our computer updates. And now we are uh, still in the adverse examination of uh, Secretary Carr. And uh, Ms. Rineker, unfortunately, is still trying to reboot her computer, but Mr. Malenbach said we can go on without her and I will let her in when she does appear. So um, unless there's something else, uh, Mr. Cross, you can begin. Thank you. Secretary Carr, um, with regard to Mr. Percy, do you ever give him uh, direct instructions about Columbia Correctional Institution? Not that I recall. Okay. Uh, so then to be clear, is it your practice to go through uh, the the administrator? Yes, but I, I don't, um, I've been in government for 46 years, ran two agencies, you know, at a high level that have very strict chain of command. When it comes to my senior leadership team, you know, yeah, I would call Magda first under most normal circumstances, but I reserve the right as the secretary to call anybody I want anytime I want to ask anything I want. <laughs> So, presumably so, but then, so do you ever do that with Mr. Uh, Percy or no? I, not, I mean, during the past four years that I've been the secretary, I'm, I'm certain there might have been a time or two when Mokta wasn't easily available that I needed something out of DAI that I would call Mr. Percy for and say, hey, can you take care of this for me? And, and bringing this back to the escape, did you talk to Mr. Percy directly about the escape at any time? Oh, I'm sure at, at some point during, especially those initial days after the escape, uh, the escape occurred, we we may have had some conversation, but I can't tell you explicitly the nature or anything that we discussed. It would just be, you know, if we're all around, we're all talking about it, <laughs> you know, and it's it, it. There was nothing more important that had occurred in this agency during that period of time than that escape. So then you talked to uh, Warden Novak, correct? I'm sure, we're, I, yes. Directly about the escape? Um, I don't know if I had um, any direct conversations with her. Um, it wouldn't, Surprise me if I did, but I don't recall. Okay. <clears throat> but so you are clear that you had conversations with uh, the administrator and Mr. Percy, but you're not clear about Ms. Novak. Do I understand yeah, that? Yeah, right? and that's because their offices are located in my building. You know, the fact that they would wander up and they might even be having a conversation with the deputy secretary and I just wander in, you know, and join the conversation. I mean, you know, what you you run a firm, you know how it is when you, you got people working around you, you just interact with them. Okay. But I also uh but that interaction about the escape, did that continue after the investigation began? It may have, I mean, because as details would become known, it like it took a couple of days before the um, escapees were apprehended. I can't imagine um, that at some point there weren't there weren't some discussions about um, what we were finding um, during the initial days of the investigation and the law enforcement. Um, investigation um, to apprehend the the escapees okay. is possible. Did you ever learn that uh, Warden Novak violated any policy uh, with regard to the escape? Objection asked and answered. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, so I asked him if he saw the charges. So. Can, is there a distinction in your mind, uh, Secretary Carr, between the two that 
uh, did you see charges or did you ever determine that you thought Warden Novak did anything wrong? Judge, there is absolutely a, a clear distinction in my mind because um, as the secretary, even if um, a discipline, um, a disciplinary finding has been made that recommends a certain amount of discipline, I reserve the right to say I disagree and not do it. So um, in this particular case, I was never um, made aware of any particular finding and never had the opportunity to make a decision. Okay. <clears throat> Were you, uh, and again, there's other discipline that was issued, uh, that was actually issued as a result of this escape, right? Pardon? There was it, discipline that was issued as a result of this escape, right? Yes. Did you disagree with any of those disciplinary recommendations? Hmm. I might have, you know, sometimes a person, the, um, the, the way the process works here is there is a, a committee that reviews the case and then if they believe that the um, disciplinary finding of a violation is substantiated, they make a recommendation to my office as to what they think the appropriate discipline should be. Sometimes I agree with that recommendation. Sometimes I don't. In this particular case, I cannot recall because there were so many people involved in this case. I just can't remember all the discipline that was um, imposed as compared to what was recommended. Okay. And uh, do you recall participating in the creation of a press release uh, with regard to the discipline? Uh, that was imposed by the Department of Corrections in response to these escapes? I'm going to object to relevance. Okay, what is the relevance, Mr. Cross? He's, he's made some statements about it, so I want to ask him uh, if he said if these statements are accurate. I don't recall that he made any statements about making a press release. He said that there were press releases. He doesn't know. He didn't say he saw them. Do you know, do you, do you sure. recall participating in the creation of a press release? I Did don't, I, I, I don't recall. In fact, as I sit here today, it, it, it doesn't, it's not surprising that there would have been one, but I don't recall issuing one. Okay. Did you say the results of the investigation and after action review reflect a combination of performance failures and longstanding systematic issues? related to security procedures at the Columbia Correction Institution that predate this administration? I'm going to object okay, to I, I didn't remember. Yes, I, I and that was read way too quickly for any human being to be able to determine if they agreed with it or not. Okay, I appreciate that. Usually I get admonished by the court reporter for that, but I'll, uh, uh, I'll try to contain my excitement here. So it says the results of the investigation and after action review reflect a combination of performance failures and longstanding systematic issues related to security procedures at CCI that predate this administration. Judge, I would also object based on a lack of foundation. I'm going to allow that. Do you recall if there was ever a press release that said those that that made that statement? Do you recall? I I, I don't recall it. Okay, go ahead, move on. Okay, and did you say in a press release, these are tough decisions that bring pleasure to no one in our agency? Again, objection. He said he doesn't remember. Do you recall such a I, statement? No, I, I don't recall issuing the press release. I mean, well, know. the issue is, is, you know, he's now at saying specific statements and whether or not that jogs your memory. Does that make you? believe that there was a press statement and do you recall if that was it, if that statement was in there? Do you want it read again? Well, I mean, first of all, you know, excuse me, I'm just going to say this, 
Okay. Go ahead. I, in my law enforcement career, normally at this point, counsel would be showing me a document saying, hey, do you remember this? <laughs> and then I'd be looking you. at it and I'd be going, oh, yeah, now I remember it. But just to, you know, throw statements at me, um, I can't remember what I said yesterday, let alone three years ago. Okay, thank you. Mr. Cross, do you have a document? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I actually don't know if this was in uh, the exhibits, but it's the press release uh, here from the Wisconsin Department of Corrections, Secretary Kevin A. Carr for immediate release July 16th of 2020. Okay. One second. Okay. Yep. Okay. Before we begin again, I just, for the record, I, we've been using a, a CCI that refers to Columbia Correctional Institute. Or institute? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, is it institute or institution? Institution. Okay. All right. Then, uh, go ahead. Is uh, this a document now that you've seen it? Something you remember being released at the time? Yes, it is. So. And does it appear to be accurate? Yes. All right. So now, Mr. Cross, where would you like uh, Secretary Cross to look? Okay. Um, got it. So, uh, looking at this document, this is something that you assisted in preparation, correct? I don't know if I assisted in the preparation of it, but I, um, reviewed it before it went out okay i'll 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 put put that as participated does that sound a better word to you i approved it being released okay and you gave out these quotes to them right yes and they fairly and accurately uh reflect what you, your statements at that time yes okay so i want to go to the top of this document are you here. offering this document into the record then Yes, please, Judge. Okay, and are you still objecting to it, Mr. Mullenbach? I believe there's been a proper foundation laid at this point in time. Okay, so uh, Complaints Exhibit 14 is admitted. Go ahead. Thank you, Judge. All right, so it says here, uh, the personal investigations resulted in the following. Uh, seven staff members terminated, one staff member suspended for five days, one staff member cleared, four staff members resigned during the course of the investigations. Did I read that right? That's correct. Okay. Does that include Warden Novak? I believe so, because she resigned in June and this didn't come out until July. Okay, so it's fair to say that three other staff members resigned in the face of the investigation, correct? During the course of the investigation, whether it's, that's what it says, during the course. Okay, what's the distinction in your mind there? is I don't know what the reason why they resigned was. It could have been any it could have been anything other than the investigation for all I know. Okay. Do you believe that any of these uh staff members resigned? Let's put it another way. Do you believe that um well I'll strike that question. All right. It said affected employees were informed of the department's disciplinary decisions today. Is that a true statement? Yes. Okay. So that means that all of the employees were informed of the disciplinary actions at the same time, correct? I, yes, I would agree with that. Okay. Why were all the disciplinary decisions per, per, issued at the same time? Let me finish, sir. Pertaining to the seven staff members terminated or suspended or cleared. Obviously, the four um, staff members that resigned during the course of the investigations could have um, resigned any time between April and July 16th, for all I know. Okay. So then it says there are tough, these are tough decisions that bring no pleasure, uh, pleasure to no one in our agency. Did I read that right? Yes. And that's your direct quote. And it also says, but I cannot tolerate job performance 
that compromises public safety, we take that responsibility very seriously, correct? Correct. Okay. So, um, and I want to understand how far that went, uh, because again, you're saying that you have no knowledge that anybody above the rank of the uh, rank of warden had any knowledge about the fence situation, correct? That's correct. Okay. And again, you're saying that you have no knowledge that anybody above the rank of warden had any knowledge of the uh, complicity of the kitchen staff prior to the escape. Is that right? I didn't say that. Okay. What's wrong with my statement or my question? I, you know, I, I am not certain that, um, I'm not certain who knew about the um, issues related to the kitchen staff. I, I'm not certain um, with um, definitive, uh, I'm not definitively knowledgeable about who knew what and when about the investigation um, involving the kitchen staff that um, assisted in the escape. Okay, and that lack of certainty didn't lead you to uh, cause an investigation uh, into those areas, correct? I'll ask that another way. Even right. though you were uncertain, you didn't cause uh, the Department of Corrections to find out uh, the answer to those uh, questions, right? To who knew about that? Whether anybody in management knew about uh, the kitchen workers prior to the escape. Well, I thought that that would be part of the internal investigation because obviously they investigated the kitchen worker that um, was um, involved in assisting in the escape. So um, I would logically conclude that if um, the investigation would reveal who was involved in that aspect of the activity. Okay, so if in the um, internal affairs investigation, the internal affairs found out that um, Warden Novak told Doug Percy about the kitchen employee prior to the escape, what discipline would you recommend for uh, internal affairs? Objection, speculation. Yes, I, I think it's speculative. What, I, I don't understand really. Uh, are you saying that the IA told him that there was a problem with Mr. Percy or with this um, this kitchen staff person? No, he set up the if then judge. So he's saying if there's any uh, indication that somebody knew ahead of time that he assumed that internal affairs would be the one to follow up with Doug Percy. Okay, that's not he just made that answer. Okay, well, so what's the question? Well, well, so what's the well, question? That was so what is, is, if, if, excuse me, sir, if in the internal affairs report, there is mention of Doug Percy getting that uh, information about the kitchen staff ahead of the escape, then is he going to discipline uh, those in internal affairs who didn't investigate Doug Percy? Judge, I think that's a mis. Clear, uh, mis it's a mischaracterization of the secretary's testimony. I, I, I object to that. Is it actually in the report somewhere? I, I don't understand. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's do it then. Let's absolutely. I mean, you because the last time we did that, Judge, you didn't want me to put that in front of him uh, because he didn't. He says he didn't see that report. But again, he say he relied on. Um, well, he said he didn't affairs. see all the reports, so you didn't tell me it was a report he actually saw. So what is it that you want to do? Well, I want to know then if because he's saying he, he's saying he expected that uh, internal affairs would have investigated Doug Percy if it found out that Doug Percy had known about the kitchen worker prior to the escape. No, I, I didn't say I did not say that. Okay, let me be clear. Okay, that I would expect internal affairs to do a thorough investigation. And if it was relevant and indicated that there was a rule violation that occurred pertaining to something involving that kitchen worker, that they would follow whatever leads there was to be followed. 
I am not even suggesting right now that there was anything nefarious about the investigation um, pertaining to the kitchen worker that was um, underway at CCI prior to the escape. I, I, you know, they were looking into it, okay? That's all that I can ask for them to do is to investigate the conduct of the kitchen worker that they um, had suspicions about prior to the escape. I don't even know what the relevance of it is because I, I don't, I think when they got what information they got about that kitchen worker that raised their suspicions and then they started looking into it, that's all good. Okay, well then if it's all good, sir, why did you state in this press release, I cannot tolerate job performance that compromises public safety? Because that didn't. They did their, they were doing their job. They were investigating suspected wrongdoing. We're talking about Columbia at, at CCI. Right. Okay. Yeah, they, they were doing that. I, I don't, I, I don't even understand what the problem, I'm not saying, see, they looked into that. They did what they were supposed to do. That's what I expect people to do. They hear about bad things. They got some reasonable suspicion. They follow up on it. They look into it. They were looking into that. Okay. <laughs> and so why was the Department of Corrections investigating uh, Warden Novak uh, for failing to um, adequately deal with those employees? I'm Do not you know certain that? that there any there was any conclusion that that was the case. I didn't. I, I, like I said, I, we never got to that point. No, just with Warden Novak, we've we've gone around that time and time again, haven't we, sir? We had we didn't get to that point with Warden Novak, but you surely got to that point with others, and you said that you read those documents, didn't you? I'm going to object now. He's badgering the witness. Sustained. Well, you said you read those Sustained. documents, didn't you? No. Stop. In what badgering. sense am I badgering him, Judge? Yes, you are. In what sense am I badgering him? Your tone and the fact that it's repeated, and this is not, he's not consistent with his testimony. So we're not going to continue. Uh, you just can't, you know, keep asking him until you beat out of him the answer that you want because you so confused him. So no. I know okay. I feel very got, confused. Okay. So I'll withdraw that question then. And then uh, the issue, though, sir, is that um, you know that you and you signed off on discipline for Department of Corrections employees uh, related uh, for failing to properly investigate uh, the kitchen worker ahead of time. Correct? Objection. It assumes facts, not in evidence, and I don't think that was the testimony. Okay. I, I think you have to ask him directly. It's Secretary Carr, do you recall any of the people that were disciplined for the prison uh, break were disciplined in connection with failing to provide information regarding the uh, issues with this kitchen worker? I don't recall. I, I don't recall specifically. No. Okay. Move on. Okay. And, and to be clear, this was, as you said, a, the biggest incident that had happened at the Department of Corrections during your tenure at that time, right? That's correct. Okay. But you don't recall reading the disciplinary summaries of uh, these seven members that were terminated, correct? Objection, argumentative. Sustained. He, did, he didn't say he didn't read them. He said specifically he did read them. He says he doesn't recall now. That's what I asked him. Do you not recall reading these documents now? Did you I, read the documents? Do you recall I, that? Yes, I, I do recall reading the documents at the time. Three years later, um, I do not recall the details of the documents. Okay. But you do recall that at least the detail that there was uh, the defense issue, um, and you do recall that Warden Novak uh, knew about the fence issue ahead of time, right? Objection asked and answered several times, in fact. 
frankly, I, I know that it's probably been asked and answered, but I cannot remember at this point because there's been so many variations on it. Uh, so I'll just one more time for us, please. Uh, Secretary Carr and I apologize. Uh, do you recall if there was an issue that you're aware of with um, Warden Novak? And did you say the, the fence or did you say the yeah. service worker with okay. the fence? Did you recall that there was an issue or concern that there may have been some kind of, of improper conduct on her part with respect to the fence? Whether or not there was actually a decision that it was actually a problem, was it identified as a possible problem? It may have been brought to it may have been brought to my attention that she had some knowledge of um, the condition of the fence, but um, there was no um, conclusive finding that I reacted to. Um, regarding her knowledge of it. And you did also recall uh, knowing about disciplining uh, Department of Corrections employees about the fence, correct? Other than uh, Warden Novak. Objection asked and answered. Yes, he said he doesn't remember specifically what happened in those different things at this time. He read them at the time and he doesn't remember now. So this is the impeachment on. here, Judge. He, my understanding, and well, I guess we'll have to go to the tape, is that he said that he uh, recalls the, about the fence, but now that we're talking about the inmates, he doesn't recall. So that that's inmates. the difference in testimony that we're trying to elicit here. That's the impeachment that's going on. Wait, the inmates? What inmates? Sorry, there's, there's the kitchen, the worker, and the fence. And the juxtaposition oh, no, no, that I'm no, trying no, to no, make no, here no, is wait, between wait, wait, he remembers wait. the fence and he doesn't remember well, the uh, kitchen inmates. What? What? No. It wasn't the kitchen inmate. It was a kitchen employee. Okay. Okay. It was a, an employee, one of our employees that worked in the kitchen that helped with the escape, not an inmate. Okay. And 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 how do you know that? Because she got charged um, with aiding the escape. Okay. And. You're frozen, sir. Or no, you're not. You're now you're moving. I'm sorry, I must hit my space bar. Did you read any documents regarding that uh her getting charged? I might have been provided with a copy of the complaint when she was charged in um Columbia County. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Um Judge, if you give me two minutes here, I think I can wrap everything up. All right.